Hey guys, how are you? I wanted to make this video today because for a few reasons. One, something I've never talked about and I think it's weird that I've never talked about it, but also it's just a huge part of who I am. It's a unique part of my life. It's always something that when people find out about they're surprised for some reason. I just feel like it's an interesting part of my life story that some people will relate to, some people will be surprised about. I think it's just good to share different life experiences because at the end of the day that's what makes us us. I wanted to share what it was like, what it's been like growing up um, in Canada, in North America as a second generation Muslim. So that means that my dad was Muslim and he moved here and I was born here and I'm Muslim. People are often just surprised to find that out, I guess. I guess I don't really represent what you think of when you think of someone that's Muslim. I know I shouldn't, but I do not dress the most modestly. Um, I don't cover my hair like with a hijab other than when I pray. It's not for a lack of belief like I definitely believe in the faith um, it's just everyone's on their own path I think to the extent to which they follow what they believe in but yeah I think like that's just the first thing for some reason people are always surprised from people in university to the workplace to people online like whenever they find out that they're just so surprised um, but yes what it looks like to be Muslim I guess can show up in different ways so I grew up, like I spent the first 18 years of my life in a small city that at the time when I was really young had like no other Muslim people. Maybe there were like 10, 15 families total. And that was a really interesting feeling because at that time I actually really got on with the other kids that were Muslim. They were all like me. They were all mostly like born in Canada. Um, and so you just like identified and connected with those people pretty well. They were also very diverse for those 1015 families. They were kind of diverse um, cultural backgrounds as well. So we just kind of came together as like, we're Canadian, we're raised here, but we are Muslim. Um, and so I got on pretty well with them at that point. Now bear in mind, outside of that, the um, city I was from was like, I'm gonna go 99.5% Caucasian. Um, so really a minority. Um, so it's just like interesting growing up in that kind of environment and I think it affected different people differently. So for me, it's like I always felt very confident in my belief and in my faith and who I am and the different background that I have. Um, but like some of my siblings felt a little bit more um, like, I don't know if insecure is the right word, but just like a little more like, oh, like I'm different kind of thing. And it's weird for me to explain this or weird for me to talk about it. Um, so it definitely could impact people differently. But for me, I felt like good about it. I felt confident about it. But there's always this weird thing when like you say you are something, but people don't really understand. They don't really ask very many questions, but they're still super respectful of it. And that was cool. There was definitely this turning point in my city where there was a lot of immigration. And that was when things actually took a bit of a shift for me because there were a lot of Muslim families that moved where like the kids were from other countries and I immediately just felt like I didn't fit in. <laughs> um, it's like there were a lot of people who moved and they spoke Arabic and I didn't speak Arabic. Um, I can read Arabic but I don't really understand it. Um, or they moved and they were from Pakistan and they had like Southeast Asian culture and I didn't feel like I uh, was part of that either. Um, and that's when the first kind of like divide happened where I was like, I don't really know. It's like, I think I have these beliefs and I believe the beliefs, but it was the first thing that really drew the awareness to like cultural differences that exist in different Muslim countries and how integrated they actually become. Um, where like the line between what is religion and what is culture can really get blurred a lot. But for me, I didn't really grow up with that much culture because my parents were different ethnicities like my dad has mixed a lot of things he's um he's from Sudan but he's mixed many different things like Egyptian Turkish stuff like that and my mom is Chinese um so I didn't really grow up with a strong culture at all so that became really apparent to me and I just felt like I didn't fit in I also kind of felt like because there was this cultural difference sometimes and this is more about me this is more about me than than 
and of course everyone's responsible for it but it's like for holding themselves in a certain way but it's like I definitely felt judged because I didn't fit into a cultural norm a cultural expectation of course it's on everyone the onus is on everyone to not judge another person because you don't really understand where they're at in terms of faith and belief and whatever um, and there's there's no one specific mold but like you know I that's how I felt at the time growing up and so I didn't really have a lot of Muslim friends um, once like the community started to get bigger and I met my first Muslim friend um, <laughs> she's still one of my really good friends and she's the one that like actually showed like that openness towards me we're not the same ethnic background but we do have shared beliefs and it was just such a beautiful thing to like really connect with someone and have them understand you at your core so that was i had kind of like that experience and that was kind of that was kind of like my earlier life with it um i feel like i have to mention 9 11 because that was a really weird time um of course, I was kind of sheltered being in a smaller town. There wasn't a lot of racism um, in like in my town, but that was really weird. I think we're all at a point now where as a general community, we understand that 9-11 is not the way of the religion. It's um, the opposite of religion. Um, it's the opposite of Islam. It's the opposite of being Muslim, like terrorism in general. I don't understand how they're connected because they're at odds. Um, and I think if you picked any random Muslim on the street, they would say the same thing. But yeah, that was a weird time. Just like seeing the narrative towards my faith and my belief, which I viewed to be one way, like totally villainized, um, was like really a weird situation and weird time to be. Um, but I am really grateful actually that I was in this smaller community and I did get sheltered from it a lot. Um, and to me and the Muslim people I was around, it was kind of like, that's weird. But internally in our bubble, like it was totally fine. Um, and I'm really, I feel really lucky about that. There's definitely this notion when it comes to Islam of extremism. Like I think that people can sometimes portray it to be that way. Like, oh, it's so extreme. There's so many rules. It's so hard. And it's not really if like and for a little bit of context like growing up i would define i i would define my dad as he turned quite religious religious um in that he's what you call like a hafist meaning he like memorized the quran the quran is our holy book it's kind of like the bible and um i don't think that I have done, I've spent a lot of time, um, probably not enough, but I've spent a good chunk of time trying to understand about um, Islam and about religion. And that's really what fortified my own, uh, my own faith. And <laughs> the biggest value in Islam are around peace and balance and fairness. Um, And so how can it be and so it's not extreme and so i think like you always have to like look at first of all like look at it for yourself um and sometimes people are not the best representation of what a religion is in fact i'm not even the best representation um but i will say like i really connect with the values of it and what was super clear for me is that the values are around um are around peace and contentment and fairness and being a genuinely good person and it's kind of like a it's been like my guide through life I'll say so if you're ever seeing that narrative that it is extreme and even at times in my life when things get inappropriately uh, represented to me I've also felt that way but it's, it's not about an individual person or even a community or what someone says. It's about thinking for yourself and um, questioning for yourself and trying to understand for yourself. And like that is the whole that. So if you hear that and you've been watching me for a while, I'm sure you can connect the dots that to me, a lot of who I am 
and how I think and how I want to be in the world originates from those values. Um, and that's why it's such a big part of my life and who I am. And I think I under represent that um, for whatever reason. Maybe I'm scared of people judging me or yeah, it's politically incorrect, whatever, like whatever that is. Um, but at the end of the day, it's like the essence of who I am. It's who I try to be. And um, yeah, it's like, don't just blindly follow something. Like think, think for yourself. Don't just blindly listen. Oh, someone says this would be good for you. I'm not even talking about religion at this point. Anything, just in general, as a life principle. Think for yourself. Um, assess things, understand the meanings of why. Um, and that's how you should go through the world in general. And that's how I view it. That's how I apply it to DIY. That's how I applied it to working in corporate. That's how I apply it to dealing with people or handling people or interacting with people. Um, so yeah, I think that when it's stated that it is extreme or like it's you know, whatever it is. Um, yeah, it's really not. And I've, you know, there's even been people close to me that like, they, I will hear something that's getting portrayed as a certain way. It's getting portrayed, um, um, the, like coming from people of the religion, it's getting portrayed in an extreme way. And I will politely argue back, um, in, in the essence of what I know to be like the heart of the faith. Um, balance, fairness, um, respect, like all those things, thinking for yourself. That's everything. I mean, it's not everything, but you know what I mean? Now I want to address something that's come up. It's, it's even like come up in the workplace, if you can believe like in professional environments where someone will be like, well, if you don't do X, does that actually mean that you're Muslim? Um, so if you don't wear the hijab, if you don't cover your hair, does that mean that you're Muslim? Um, or if someone, drinks alcohol. Does that mean that you're Muslim? Um, yeah. If you, if you believe in, in what the, if you believe in it, yeah, then that makes you Muslim. You, you're, you're not just, so what it means to be Muslim, I just want to clarify for a minute, is it means that you believe in like the core principle. The core principle is you believe in one God, one and only one God, and you believe that the Prophet Muhammad was his messenger. That is the core of it. And if you believe in that, then you know for yourself that you're a Muslim. It doesn't take like a big ceremony. It doesn't mean that if you do something wrong, you're banished from it. Um, and also, I think one weird narrative is like, is it just because you're born into it? Like, oh, because your parents, whatever. No, if you can be born into a Muslim family and fully not believe it, and that makes you not Muslim. Um, so it's very like based on you and what's in your heart and what's in your head. So to me, I can't, I almost can't help it, but like I almost get a little bit offended when people ask me that question. In the inside, I'm just a little bit like, really? Like you, you just don't, it feels almost like a bit of a judgment. Maybe it's not, maybe it's me just taking it the wrong way. I haven't gotten that in a while, um, but often like it catches people off guard. They find out that I'm Muslim, then they'll make a comment like that. And I'm just like, huh? like it's to each their own kind of thing. Um, and at the end of the day, I know that no one else can judge me. One of the things I think, especially as being someone on the internet of being someone in the business world before being in an internet job. That's definitely been a hardship around having my faith is that it still doesn't feel a hundred percent. It doesn't feel as, what's, it doesn't feel a hundred percent as accepted as if I was Christian, for example. It still feels like something that I kind of keep to myself or in my family home kind of thing. Even I have a family member that like I showed them in hijab and they said oh would you really want people to see that and it's like yeah i mean i don't care i'm not trying to hide it but i i guess i haven't been vocal about it um so yeah i just wanted to change that i, I guess in part i'm making this video for you guys you can see like a different window into my life and choose if you want to be online friends with me or not um based on that up to you 
Um, and I'm partially doing it for myself because like I'm genuinely questioning in myself, why have I not talked about this? This is, this is, this is a huge part of who I am to me and how I view myself and my life and how I've been for a long time and how I continue to be based on my own learnings. This is like one of the single most important things about me and who I am and how I view myself. So why haven't I talked about it? That should say something, I guess. Um, and it definitely says something to me. So I'm not saying by any means I'm going to be like talking about it all over the place. I think it's just for me to rip off the band-aid. Why am I not like, this is a huge part of who I am. This is about authenticity. Um, and I guess I shouldn't feel any kind of way to just, here I am, take me as I am kind of thing. So thank you for watching this video. Um, I hope it shed a little bit of light. <laughs> Every time I've met someone um, that I've become friends with that's been Muslim, they have some sort of shared experience within this. So um, hopefully that resonates with any of you who have the shared experience. I know there's a lot of overlapping faith and belief uh, between like, what I believe and other religions as well. I'm always uh, respectful towards other religions. I think that's part of the faith as well. Like you should always be respectful. People choose what they want to believe. They choose what they want to follow. Um, at the end of the day, that's up to them. But here's a big part of my truth and I'm glad I could share it with you today. Thank you for watching. This is what it's like. Um, and I'll see you again soon.